legislative session begins. Our Kate Whitehaw is live at the state capitol with what's going on here on opening day. Kate, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Well, the session begins at 10 o'clock this morning, and the first item of business is going to be electing a Speaker of the House. But, you know, the big issue that's going to be looming over this entire session, really, is the budget. Now, it's thought that the state needs $99 billion to maintain the services we have now. Yesterday, the Comptroller told us the state should have about $72.2 billion available for spending. That leaves a projected $26.8 billion, though, dollar shortfall. That number, however, is just a projected amount. It could change based on what lawmakers do in the next few weeks to offset that number. Also, keep in mind, there is about $9 billion in the rainy day fund, which could also be up for consideration to help out this shortfall. Republicans argue that the budget shortfall isn't that bleak, probably something around $15 billion when you factor in the current cuts and future cuts. As lawmakers map out the budget plan this session, Comptroller Susan Combs warns them to err on the conservative side. I would expect that when the Legislative Budget Board issues a budget the next one to two weeks, uh, that they will be very restrained and very moderate. Some of these cuts could end up actually costing the budget, uh, future budgets more. What does it cost when you don't repair a highway and so on? Also on the agenda today, the governor is going to address the Senate at 1220 this afternoon and then the House at 2 o'clock. Our political reporter, Josh Shingle, will, of course, be covering everything dealing with the session. And you can check it out here at KXAN as well as KXAN.com. We're live from a very breezy state capitol. Kate Wydaw, KXAN, Austin News. All right, Kate, thank you. First order of business for the House electing a speaker. House Republicans met in a private caucus Monday to sort out a right-wing challenge to current speaker Joe Strauss. It took a non-binding vote. Seventy of the 101 Republican House members voted in favor of keeping Strauss. Some had been calling for a more conservative leader because of the GOP's supermajority in the House. 